classic pay now or pay a whole lot more later, but the issue is always how do we, how do we pay now up front. Um, and so I know Drew, you've uh, been with us a while. You've got sure. a, a family history of, uh, of early educators in your, in your family. Yes, absolutely. And, and you've talked about from your perspective why this is such a great investment for the family. Yeah, absolutely. So the, as you mentioned, we've it's good to be back in person because the last couple of times we've done this has been over Zoom. But I have my my mother was a Head Start site leader for a number of years was her career, and my wife I actually met while she was working for AmeriCorps, and she was a home visit she was a home visitor, and this is all in Michigan, and was a part of a children's lending library as far as they would lend toys, provide services, uh, do parent education. So it hits close to home having that experience uh, true to life, but also seeing it work. Uh, we've talked before about when we have individuals that come through the criminal justice system for sentencing, uh, you often see individuals who haven't completed high school, that, that have dropped out, uh, and don't have those educational resources that I think the research does show that programs like like you have here and are, you know around our county help to ensure that people stay invested in school and you know everything that Bruce had, had talked about. I also was thinking, and I don't have the research on this, but I was at a... Uh, Form a play at a local high school, and I was looking through. They had the academic statistics of uh, you know people who were valedictorian and you know honor roll and things like that. And I happened to notice uh, the name of someone who had in the past few years had been someone who had been a, a victim of a crime. And I don't know if the statistics are out there, but I think there's also a a benefit to preventing crime that when you have kids who are uh, in school who are receiving programs that uh, there were. Potentially, I think reporting more things that are happening at home that they have more resources to go to. Uh, I can think of a number of cases we've dealt with that have come from preschools or other schools where they're reporting. Here's something that happened at home uh, that nobody else was listening to. That the child abuse. Correct. Child abuse type situations that they don't have a, a 